Alright, um, episode 10. Yay, episode 10. Okay, this time we're going to learn how to save, um, how to save regular variables and arrays. Um, we're not going to learn the really, really advanced way yet because, you know, as we go up in episodes, we're going to be getting more advanced and more advanced. Until you guys pretty much know everything I know, which isn't quite that much. I mean, it's, I don't know as much as some people on the forums, like, you know, Pyrometal or B Ant. Well, B Ant, yeah, he's smart. B Ant is insane. He made this awesome RPG called, um, what was it, what was it called? I don't know. Anyway, you played as this, like, this little polar bear. Dude, it was awesome. Alright, so anyway, um, let's get started. Positions. Let's just save positions for now. So, position. And later on in this video, I'll show you how to save um, the animation position as well. Yeah, so I guess I'll stop at 718. I can't kill. 718. So let's go here to make our variable. We're not going to use an I. We're not going to use an int code. We're just going to create them normally. Name him position, because this is the easiest way of um, saving the position. And since it's only the position, make it um, the size of two. Actually, one. Yeah, make it size of one. And save group is saves. We're gonna make everything all in one group. Okay, it has to be two. Never mind. All right, so yeah, um, yeah. Now go here. Go to draw actor. Um, then go to pause for position. Zero equals x and pause <coughs> one equals y. Okay. Now we got that. Now go to create actor. Um, actually, wait, we got to save the variables before we can load them. So make a save button. It doesn't have to have an animation because we know which one's which. There's only two actors on the screen. Um, on mouse down. Functions. Just go to functions. You find save vars. As soon as I can find it. I'm not used to this resolution on this. Um, save variables, where are they? There it is, save ours. Um, and then file name. <laughs> Let's name it, uh, save. Uh, data dot date. Or you can name it dot anything, really. Dara. <laughs> okay, data dot AAI. No, AAP. AAR. Data dot A. Okay, let's just name it data dot data dot date. And right there. See or you can just type it like that, you know. But um now we go to create actor load vars data dot date saves. And that's all you gotta do, as simple as simple as that. This obviously is the file name, and this is the save group you want to load it in. Warning: the save group must be in the next thing. Like if you're using two different EXEs, it must be. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Key down. Let's just make a move right for now, for an example. X plus equals four. Actually, we're gonna make a move always, since we got time. We got plenty of time. Got like seven minutes left. X minus equals four. <coughs> y plus equals four. <laughs> y minus equals four. You know, very simple up and down, left, right movement, and also diagonal. Okay, see so right there. Now let's save his position. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta edit it. The um, go back to his create actor. Which he didn't have one, I thought. Huh. Yeah. I thought we had a create actor. I could have sworn we did. Okay, go back here. Load vars. Oh no, did we go to create actor on him? Actually? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. So he's loading the variable. It doesn't matter who loads the variables. But just to be safe. 
you know, just to be safe, let's just copy and paste this back to over there and remove it from him. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter who loads the variables. I just don't want to take any chances, you know, and end up having to do much longer stuff. Okay, x equals pos zero, and y equals pos <laughs> one. It sounds funny when I say pos. It reminds me of what it actually stands for. But pos, you see right there, he's saved his position. Loading now. We, now click and boom. Yay! We have officially saved the x and y position of um, the player. <laughs> now let's add an animation, and we're gonna save his animation too. So let's add the shockwave animation, which is just stuff I. This is all stuff I use in Yolum. Um, besides the screeny, I don't, that that got there when I took a screenshot and accidentally had saved it in like this directory. So there's Yolum, yay! You know what? Let's use Yolum in this. Okay. Um, press space or something to change the animation. Okay. Um, we need to make a small variable for this. Ah, oh, actually, no, we don't because because we did this. Pos two equals. I mean, plus plus. That means like pos two will like be added by one. Now go back to draw actor, and then uh, if pos ah, two equals zero. Dude, I'm typing so slow. I just woke up. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like. Kind of slow with it. Uh, yeah, we'll have time to finish this, I think. So change animation to shockwave. <laughs> if POS2 is equal to 1, changes the animation to. Uh, walk right. Now, just to make it reset to zero, POS, I mean, if POS2 is equal to two, POS2 equals zero. Now, as you can see, as we keep on pressing space, let's do it. Sp ah, read attempt, draw actor. Okay, I get it. Alright, I, I, I see. This is what we gotta do then. We gotta make it three. <coughs> It's a little bit different, you know. I don't know why. Now, as you can see, when we press space, it does that. Now, watch this. Save. Load, and he initially starts with that position. All right. Um, that's how you save both the animation position and and the animation. What an animation position? What the hell am I talking about? All right. <laughs> that's how you save. Um any type of a variable can be saved the exact same way just by making a save group <laughs> but like I said for simple things like this I'd really prefer you just uh, yeah just go over here and click save again to test it one more time and there you go that's how you save uh, hope hope you guys enjoyed peace